Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series C reflection get type information. And in the next sub series, we will continue with C reflection. And at runtime, we will make a call to the members like static function as well as. Uh, member function all right that's about the next uh, sub series but here in the sub series we will uh, uh, get introduced to reflection and we will see how to get uh, type information at uh, runtime so in this video we will uh, talk about what is reflection and what is a dot net assembly An assembly in .NET is a compiled code and resource which can run in .NET CLR. So in old days we compile a code and we will create executable. Here we call the binary. Uh, the binary can be DLL or EXE. We call that as an assembly. So it's a compiled code and the compile code output so that's what called uh, assembly so the assembly also includes a resource as well say resource in the sense if you package um, images uh, if you package images audio file those are all called resources so everything which is compiled into a unit is called assembly an assembly can be built as an executable or it can be a DLL. So if you create class library project, it will deliver a DLL output. And if you create a Windows application or console application, that will deliver a executable file, exe file. So both are seen as an assembly. With .NET reflection, you can read assembly and bypart it. So let's say you have a DLL. A DLL contains three class A, B, C, and each class contains properties, method, field, and some other type like enum and the other stuffs. So with a dot net reflection, you can read assembly. Read assembly means so if this is a DLL, it can be an EXE also. If this is a DLL, and with reflection, you can get all these classes. So if this a DLL exports so class A, class B, class C, you can get these information at runtime. Not only that, once you have the specific class, from there you can bypart the properties, methods, fields enumeration all those stuff for example a DLL assembly contains a class called point 2d with uh, two private data member here we are just assuming and one method so you can imagine uh, the DLL which uh, has a class called point 2d and point 2d class contains uh, two private data member and one method at runtime via reflection we can get the following information that means at runtime you can get point to the class that means you can get the class name you can get both the data members since it has two private data this is wrong so you cannot get private members as part of assembly so it can be a public one so it's publicly exposed so you can get both the public data members when you get data member you can get its a name as well as a type that means the data members name and type say for example if point 2d can times two integer data member into x 
in y at one time you can get a uh, name name is x and y that's the two data member and the type both are integer type similarly you can get the method information when we say method information we can get the method name it's a return type argument name as well as the type of the argument so all those information you can get at uh, runtime so here we just uh, shown you two data member method you can also get the properties and uh, other types what are all the types the point 2d class contains you can get all the information using the reflection so here we are talking about getting the reflection type reading it at uh, runtime you can even make a call to some of the uh, members say for example if it is a public data member you can get a type that means if it is x you can retrieve this x then you can assign a value or if there is a method call add points at runtime you can get the type information add points you can pass parameters if it adds up to two point and you can get the return value everything you can do at a runtime runtime in the sense it's not a static binding it's a dynamic binding so calling the method all those stuff we will see in the next video here we will uh, concentrate on uh, reading the assembly and getting the type information so there is uh, no demo in this uh, video thank you for watching bye